Hey everyone, today we are taking a look at the Die Box Rotor, which is this bad boy right here. Uh, so this is the box rotor for the Die Dam. So Die Dam right here, box rotor this guy right here. And as you can see, it's a box mag essentially. It is a box magazine for a Die Dam. So I'm gonna get the dam out of the way so I can show you more about the box rotor. A uh, couple things about the box rotor. It's uh, 325 round capacity, so you know, holds a decent amount of paint, more than pretty much any loader out there. Uh, it does feed up to 15 balls per second. It's of course electronic, does take batteries, so it's you know gonna be able to feed as fast as you can shoot. And it is essentially a rotor that goes on the bottom of your marker as opposed to the top of your marker. There are of course some differences between this and the rotor as this doesn't look anything like a rotor, but there's a lot more similarities in terms of like how it functions than, than differences. Uh, it does have this like neat little sort of ball detent thing right there. So basically while it's not engaged, the balls are gonna stay in it. They're not gonna be forced out the top. So that's neat. Um, it does come with, and I'll show you guys this real quick, it does come with an upgraded little circuit board for your dam. Apparently with um, older versions of the dam, they need this board in order for it to function properly with the box rotor. So it comes with that, so you would just have to swap that out and then you're good to go. So that's all right. Uh, you can load it from either side, as you can see. So that's cool if you're you know, left-handed or right-handed and all different scenarios. It means you can like just load the thing from either side, so that's all right. And you've got your little sort of anti-jam trigger right there. So you're just gonna push that if it jams, which it's a rotor, so it's probably not gonna jam too often. You got your power button. And the coolest part about this, in my opinion, is actually the disassembly. So I'm gonna show you how you take it apart because it's crazy, crazy easy. So you see that little tab right there? You're gonna pull that down on it and it just pops out. I'm gonna move that for now. Then you have your sort of little tray bit. Then you have tabs on either side of the tray bit. Push in on them. That's gonna lift off. And then you have all your internal stuff like that. You got your batteries. You got your tray, all this stuff just lifts right out just like in a regular rotor. So if you got to clean it or disassemble it, anything like that, super easy, doesn't take tools. Like this is not a big deal in the slightest. Pop it all back in, put this that way. It kind of just slots in like that. And then you actually just push it back into place. Like super, super crazy easy to disassemble, super crazy easy to like clean and maintain and stuff like that. 325 round capacity, 15 balls a second. It's, you know, it's a beast. And it's like, and it looks cool too, you know? Like it's just, uh, it's a different, more unique look. Like, as you can see, we'll put it right back on the marker. But like, you know, it's a, it's a cool look for what essentially is a loader that goes on the bottom of your marker as opposed to the top. Uh, round ball only, obviously it will not feed shape projectiles like first strikes, even though it is kind of a magazine, it's, uh, not gonna feed those, so just round ball, but uh, you know, 325 of them, so I'm sure you'll be happy with that. And that is the die uh, box rotor for the dam. So uh, what do you guys think about it? Do you, do you like it or you know, do you not mind when your loader is just on the top of your marker? So, you know, let us know in the comments. If you can give us a like and a subscribe, that is always appreciated, it really helps us out, and thanks for watching.